this is Robin and I'm here with Mammy and I've started this tutorial with this one which is Twyla True Moonlit Walk and then um, just regular wet and wild black and white polishes and then on the uh, French manicure I am using the OPI put it in neutral of course it's my favorite right now I have black white and silver acrylic uh, craft paint that I got at Michaels the best metallics to buy is by folk art and the other ones are apple barrel and then I have a little bit of Mac black glitter and it looks like this um, and I don't know what the name is without looking really careful I'll tell you second in a second but it's just a dark gray glitter and I have uh, blended that with a little bit of um, wet and wild top coat and now we are ready to begin so I'm going to clean my striping brush and go into the black uh, paint and go okay here we go anchor into the top corner with your striping brush and then pull the finger anchor with your striping brush and then pull the finger anchor pull anchor pull and then you go the opposite way and I'm going to be doing this on the pinky and the thumb all the same so then you go the opposite direction move over if you can't get a straight line that's going perfectly add water to your paint use a body mister and fill it with water and mist your paint the, the whole time that you're painting nails and it will make sure that your paint doesn't skip while you're painting and be as quick as possible and if you make a mistake use alcohol and it'll take it all off without messing up the polish now I'm changing to my liner brush right here you can buy them at Robin Moses brushes at yahoo.com email me I'm going right into the center uh, between white and black and making a nice gray right here a light gray I'm gonna push in push 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 so I get a little bit of black and white and gray all in one brush kind of it's not one stroke because I don't want it to look all patterny I want it to look kind of freeform and watercolory so that's a little dark so I'm just going to add some white here white see how it just blends and you don't have to just make every stroke perfect I don't I, I've never really done that so um, with lighter gray I'm going to go in and make little buds going backwards like this and pulling to the center of the flowers and going through through and filling the design with kind of abstracty floral print on the middle nail I'm going to use a lighter gray that I'm using right here so I'm going to get my brush ready all right you guys wouldn't even know that I've got a bunch of dogs in here today, a bunch of people. Can you guys say hi? Hi! hi. Can everybody hi. say hi? hi. <laughs> 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 so I have a bunch, I have four dogs and a bunch of people in here. We're all being quiet for you guys. Isn't that nice? Not even laundry going. So there's that. I'm going in a line, just little tiny daisies. Dot, dot, dot. Push, push, push. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to finish that all the way out. Then on this one, I'm going to go back into that same color gray, and it's going to look completely different on the black than it does on the white. But I'm going to do the same type of flowers. Now I put the, the buds on the top flower, so I'm going to just change it around so it looks a little bit different but the same. And the great thing about black and white is if I make a mistake, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Look at that looks kind of chunky. You might not like it. Let's go scroll down a little bit. Okay, so I can go back with the black paint and make this very, very thin. I can go in and cut a line so that it'll look like it's all the way in. Any place that it looks stubby, I can thin it down so it looks thinner, like that. I can, I can fix and erase all of my mistakes with black and white paint as I go through. So you don't really have to worry too much about making tons of mistakes with this design because you easily fixable. So I'll finish that nail the, uh, liner and dot the centers like this. And then with the black nail, I'm going to take the center and dot with white. This one is a little bit too light. I'm going to darken it up. That. Then that's when I start with my glitter. I'm going to add more clear right here. Pour into the glitter and make myself some like glitter stones. 
Now I try, if I get too much top coat and not enough glitter, I put it up on my finger and then I pull the glitter from my finger so that it's easy to grab. And that, that, and I'm going to dot right on the ends of all of the, where it crosses. And that gives it like a three-dimensional, really pretty line. I'm going to go into the centers of these flowers on the black dots and glitter here. I'm going to take the center here and go and do a dot, black dot in the centers of every single one of these daisies. And then in between the daisies, I'm going to do a black dot like this all over the entire nail. I'm going to go here and I'm going to use a <laughs> white dot, Siggy. And, uh, and then with my black glitter, I'm going to go into the black paint, I mean polish, like that, and glitter up the black like that so it's going to look very elegant when I'm done with this one. And then go back with this one, and when you are finished, you will have this, and then the dots with the glitter in the centers, this with all of the, the dots in the centers, the glitter with the dots, <laughs> And then again with this, and then I'm going to top coat and meet you back with the end result. Okay, and here is the end result. Let me zoom in so you can see. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can catch me at Robin Moses Nail Art on Instagram. If you try them, I would love to see. Just uh, tag me. And I will be back with more. Um, if you want brushes, Robin Moses Brushes at Yahoo. And thank you so much for watching. Here, let's see. There's the thumbs. And I think these are fantastic. I want to see you guys try them. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.